Uh, for the last half decade or so, the Suns' identity has primarily run through Devin Booker entering his ninth season in Phoenix. The expectations for his team are higher than ever. Book sitting down for a one-on-one -on -one conversation at Media Day. How's your summer? Good. Great so, summer. Good. With you and Kevin, what were the challenges last year trying to kind of build the airplane as you were flying it, and how does the summer kind of help going into this year? Um, I'd say just learning on the fly. Um, I think the best teacher is experience, and we had a little bit of that. And you know, I still think we had a legit shot. I mean, I think the Denver Nuggets played really well through the whole playoffs, and you know, they're a tough team to beat. But you know, we we showed some things amongst us us two, especially that you know we have what it takes to get it done. When you think about those moments and and going to the finals, being in those situations, how much does being right there in the moment, playing for a championship, drive you? Yes, I mean, that's what I do it for, um, especially having that 21 experience of being that close, you know, two games up in the finals and end up losing, like, that's the standard now, you know, any it's championship or bust, and I'm sure that's how everybody feels around here, that's why these dramatic trades were made, um, all in pursuit of you know, bringing a title to Phoenix. You think about it, you're the only guy left on the roster yeah. from 21. What does that say about the just current state of roster building in the NBA? Yeah, man, it's it's crazy, man. It's the hardest part of the game. You know, I get too invested. You know, I build these relationships that, you know, luckily are bigger than basketball. Um, and, you know, I root for these guys and, you know, I hope their new situation or opportunity that presents them is better than the one that they had here and just can, can continue to grow. Do you feel like it's been nine years? Mm, no, it doesn't. It's about year four or five is what I feel like. Do you add things to your game or is it a point of maintaining at this point? Always adding, always adding. Um, keeping our imagination. You know, I try to play like a kid, you know, like an infant that first picked up the game. Like, you know, there's no restrictions. Just go out there and, you know, play. You think about when Kobe came up to you, do you try to be that guy for other young guys now? That's an important part of it. You know, I think inspiring the next generation is, is very important. And this summer I got a little taste of it. I linked up with Jamal Crawford's son. He's 11, 12 years old. I worked out with him. Um, Trevor Ariza's son, two weeks ago, he's 15. And, you know, for their kids, they'll come to me and be like, they won't tell you, but they talk about you all the time. And it's just crazy how the game just keeps evolving. and. You know, that's that's my job here, man. Make the younger generation feel like, you know, they have a chance and they have opportunity. Last one, are you like an outdoorsman? Like, are you like, Bradley Beal said he's gonna go camping with you in, in Northern in Arizona? Flag? Yeah, like, he did that, say that. What's that look like? I spend a lot of time outdoors. Yeah? I follow my dog, man. He doesn't follow me, so wherever he wants to go and walk, I follow him.